In this episode, we will discuss a way to manage configuration in a Golang project. This scheme moves the various configurations out to a YAML file that makes it easy to maintain the configuration for various environments. It's hard to manage the configuration of a project if it resides in the code. When working in a team, developers keep adding various configurations across the project. We discussed how we can use environment variables in episode 17. But as the project grows, it becomes hard to maintain configuration. On the other side, YAML provides a more structured way to keep configuration. To demonstrate configuration management in YAML, we will use a JIN project. We have a simple app that is written in Go. It uses JIN framework and GORM to interact with the DB. We have a layer on top of this app to authenticate the user and restrict access to the application. This app displays a bunch of blogs in a paginated view. Currently, we maintain the configuration in this ENV file. Here we have four environment variables, DB connection string, Redis configuration, Facebook OAuth client ID, and client secret. Now we have created a YAML file containing keys equivalent to environment variables. The Facebook auth credentials are grouped under FBOAuth in the YAML file. Thus YAML provides a more structured way to maintain configuration. Next we need to read the YAML configuration in the project. For this purpose we created a package called appconfig and this file. This file reads the configuration and provides a structure that is used to retrieve these config parameters. This structure stores the config in the application. Let's see how it maps to the YAML file. This DB config is specified in this YAML parameter here. Similarly, Redis is specified. Here is the interesting part. FBO auth credentials are defined in this structure. This YAML parameter specifies the key from the config file. Similarly, client ID and secret are specified here. Here we instantiate the app config structure. Now that the structure is ready, we will read the YAML file in this structure. For this purpose, we have this function, readConfig. First, we read the file. If there has been an error, it panics. Closing the file. A new YAML decoder is created. The YAML is read in the structure here. If there has been an error, panic again. Now at the beginning of the project execution, we'll read the configuration from the YAML file. Let's go to the main function. We will read the configuration before making the DB connection. Call app config read config function. Let's go to this function. It creates DB connection. Here we are using an environment variable to get the connection string. Let's replace it with app config appconfig.config.db Something worth noticing here, while reading an environment variable, we might make a typo in typing the variable name. But if we use the appconfig, it eliminates the chance of the typo as in the case of typo, the code will not compile.
Currently, we are not using other keys we specified in the YAML file. Let's print the Facebook Auth credentials to see if they work. Let's run the program. Here, the Facebook Auth credentials are printed. Since there was no panic, we can assume that the DB connection worked as well. But let's see if the app works. The app works as before. The transition to YAML configuration, as we've seen, not only streamlines the development process but also aids in preventing common mistakes such as typers in environment variable names, which can lead to runtime errors. It helps to maintain separate config files for different environments. By applying the practices discussed today, you're well on your way to achieving a more manageable and error-resistant project configuration. Thank you for joining us in this episode. We look forward to exploring more ways to enhance your Golang development experience in future episodes. Happy coding!